where Josh Tracy, Josh, you've just signed a three-year deal with the club. How's it feel? Uh, extremely grateful um, and excited at the same time. But yeah, just extremely grateful for the opportunity um, and obviously the faith that the club have shown in me. You came as a rookie, so obviously nothing was ever guaranteed for you, but now to have another three years guaranteed must be a great relief. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, yeah, could say a bit of an up and down three years, but um, certainly on the way up and hopefully continue to build in another three years. Have you reflected on that journey? Because you did have a few injury issues that you had to battle with, but now you're playing regular footy. Yeah, it's been been a challenge, like I said, but um, yeah, I think certainly for the better, I think without having gone through those issues, I don't know if I'd be in this situation I am right now, but um, yeah, certainly a, a good challenge, I feel, rather than um, a bad one. We've been trying to find a right forward mix at Freya for a while, but it seems like we found that with you and Jai Amos and Luke Jackson as well. Yeah, I think it's slowly starting to click and um, hopefully it's something that grows over the next three years as well and um, something I'm extremely excited to um, see what the potential is. You're all around the same age as well, so you can all grow and develop together. Yeah, it certainly helps. Um, obviously all a year apart, um, but yeah, certainly doesn't feel like that at all. Um, what what kind of different traits do you bring to the game, and like Luke and and Jai as well? Uh, yeah, it's like that. Like we're all, all different players as well. Um, I feel like I'm a bit more of a physical um, player. Not saying that the others aren't, but um, yeah, we've all got different weapons, and um, I think we we just bounce off each other really well. It's the first time since your first season that you're playing regular footy. How are you finding that? Yeah, it's really good. Uh, loving being back in the team and um, just going out and, and doing my bit each week and not, not trying to go over the top and um, do anything silly. But yeah, just continue to keep putting, putting the foot forward and um, playing good footy. Are there any games that you feel like really worked with the three of you, especially <laughs> that you guys would like to emulate for, you know, for the rest of the year? Uh, I think probably the Sydney game was probably a real standout for us. Um, <clears throat> and. We've had, had a lot of games, I feel, even though results and um, I know individual games might not have been what the fans might have liked, but certainly in here we feel like we're growing every week as a collective. Being a young troll forward especially is spoken about being one of the hardest jobs to do in the AFL. How much growth do you think you will have in the coming years? Yeah, a lot. Uh, I feel like I've already gained a lot, but then still a long way to go. Um, but yeah, certainly excited to find out what else I can do and uh, and what we can do as a club. Um, we love what you bring defensively as well. How have you found that part of your game and, and growing that? Yeah, it's always a um, another part of my game that I've loved. Um, chasing down blokes and, and being a physical presence and helping us turn the ball over. So. Yeah, just like any other part of my game, I'll continue to grow that as well and um, bring that bring that to the forefront. Obviously a disappointing result last week, but we got a big game against Carlton at home. It's a chance to redeem ourselves and get our season back on track. Absolutely, yeah. I think another great opportunity for us to <clears throat> work together and obviously as a collective to bounce back and, and we can see if we can finish this season really strong.